Hello everyone, I am Arvinda Karpabla, Senior Trainer, Center for Languages and Communication. Have you ever wondered what is the most common component of all your conversations on daily basis? Whenever you are crossing the street, ordering coffee at a coffee house, or you are socializing with your friends, you are negotiating. If you want to decide where to meet, when to meet, what to order, you are always negotiating. If you are dealing in a business negotiation, if you are agreeing or disagreeing or socializing in general, you are in the process of negotiation. If at any time your dialogue includes, I want, or it says, I need, you are getting into the game of negotiation. To understand what is negotiation, let's first understand what it is not. It is not an argument because every situation can have multiple perspectives. It is not a confrontation either because we are not getting into a zero-sum game. It is not a discussion because discussion can go on endlessly. If we look at it, it is not manipulation either because it is a collaborative game where every party should be getting their share of the pie. According to the negotiation guru Herb Cohen, Negotiation is a persuasive process in which people attempt to reach joint decisions on matters of common concern, in which there is initial disagreement. Thus, negotiation not only involves shared interests, it also involves little bit of conflict. If there is no conflict, there is no negotiation. Now let's think about it, why do we need to work on this skill set? How is going to be beneficial to us? It is going to help you have a successful professional career. Be it negotiating deals, negotiating your salaries, or negotiating the targets for your team. Everything involves negotiation. So why not benefit from this particular skill? Next, it helps you in building relationships. Relationships are based on happiness, trust, respect, and affection. When you are transparent in your dealings, when you are clearly stating what you want and at the same time looking into the other person's needs as well, you are establishing respect and trust in the relationships, succeeding all the way. It also helps you build up smart investments. If you want something that is fairly priced, you want a sincere interest rate or you simply want value for money, you need to negotiate and negotiate smartly. If all of this is impacted by in negotiations, every life aspect is so very pervasively impacted by negotiation, why not build up that skill? Expert negotiator Chris Voss has stated that emotional quotient is the most important one in terms of negotiation. According to him, negotiation depends a lot on the emotional quotient. Some time ago, it was thought that aggression is the way to go about it. But later studies have shown that emotional intelligence plays a very huge role in negotiation process. Begin your negotiation with mirroring their body language. Repeat the last words that they have said. Try and establish that you are listening. They will understand that you trust them. You are respecting their time and they will get into the comfort zone. Next, you need to show them empathy, a tactical empathy. Show that you understand their driving forces, where they are coming from. It will help them establish trust in you, establish rapport with you and in the process buy you time to frame your response. Getting people to say yes to someone else in a deal can be tough. So carefully frame your questions so that they can show empowerment by saying no. For example, you can ask them a question. Is it a wrong time to talk to you? They will say no. What they are trying to do is assert control. Now let's move on to the next step. Do not force them to admit that you are right. Instead, carefully frame the questions so that they come to this realization themselves. If during the process of negotiation, at any point of time, you get an insight into their real drives, the goals that they are after, Use them to your advantage. Make them part of the plan because they could be the deal maker for you. 
in the end, I would suggest that you go ahead and follow these techniques and make yourself a successful negotiator. Thank you.